Hi everyone, today I'm going to upcycle a, a paper bag. I love paper bags. I collect them. Usually I do, I just use the, um, the paper to make uh, junk journals. Uh, but today I'm going to uh, just upcycle one of them and also show you all kinds of other options uh, to upcycle. I use them as gift bags and it just another way of <laughs> another substrate to work on and what i'm doing today you can do in your art journals or on canvas whatever you want so all kinds of paper bags that we get if it's takeaway if it's from uh, all kinds of uh, shops so very accessible if you have one of these paper bags i recommend to remove uh, this before you're working on it and if you all have one of these then it doesn't uh, matter that you have the the handles uh, here in the back okay so I am moving this aside I'm working today on this uh, paper bag and what I'm going to use to cover it is book pages it's accessible Everyone can have it and it doesn't have to be a pocketbook. It can be dictionary pages, whatever you want. You can use painted papers. You can use maps. <laughs> you can use the yellow pages if you still got them. So, uh, only thing about this kind of a paper make sure it's not too dark if it's dark then it's very old and it's brittle that means it will just uh, start to <laughs> crumble in your hands when handling it so i really like to use this uh, kind of pages not only because it's cheap uh, also because it's accessible and after uh, gluing them it turns like, I don't know, the feel is like leather, so I really like it. Okay, so I'm opening the back all the way just because for me it's uh, easier. I'm going to cover all of it. Oh, of course, you can decide if you want to uh, re leave the sides uncovered or the bottom. It's up to you what you want to cover. Maybe you want to cover only uh, the front, like if you have... A paper bag like this with nothing on it you can decide to only cover the front so another thing just a recommendation I uh, don't uh, cut two small small pieces because then it would be just frustrating to uh, try and cover everything so I'm just uh, taking some white glue I'm putting my hand underneath just so it would be easier Another way to go about this is to take old newspaper, just uh, scrunch them up and fill the paper bag. So it would be easier to work on. Right now I'm just using my hand underneath. I'm covering the whole front just quickly with white glue and starting to put some pages from the book uh, in the corners i'm I don't care that it will come to all all the way to the corner because i'm going to put some paint there so it really doesn't matter for me and now i'm going on top of it again with the white glue I try to use whole pages again so to save time and then I'm just going to flip them like this so it would be more interesting when you have text going in all kinds of directions so you see it's very fast of course I can uh, cut the pages if I want to do something like that or like that and it really doesn't matter 
just cover and have fun with it here we go another one like so I can decide that I don't like this and I want to break the, uh, the pattern or the lines that I've got and just stick another piece here so you really can just play around with the pages and the placement if I'm I want to go all over then I can just continue putting glue and I can take the page put it like here this and let it continue to the sides of the bag covering I'm really generous with the glue of course it will take time <laughs> to dry so this this is it that's the whole start to upcycling this paper bag just make sure everything is covered like so okay so going to continue just covering this and waiting for it to dry and then i'll be back okay so i've got this a uh, paper bag covered for all over and i didn't go underneath this time and now i want to decorate it now uh, well, after this is a uh, dry it becomes a little bit stiff and you will need to press down on the creases that you had before and just work it like so okay now i want to add some details i've got this stencil i've got this stamp i made from a craft foam and i'm going to put some a acrylic paint here this is a cream color I didn't want white but I didn't want something too uh, colorful here I wanted something that will go quite natural on uh, the book pages so I'm taking a makeup sponge and I'm just going to put so, some detail in the back I'm putting a little bit of acrylic paint I'm dabbing the excess and I'm just going to spread some of this quite randomly here I don't do the center mostly because I know my uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to call it my focal point will be in the center so don't really go for it right now so as you can see just randomly on the page I can do one I can do more I'm sorry my uh, voice is not that great I've been a little bit under the weather so my voice still <laughs> didn't come back yet okay and let's see I'm just going to put this with my finger it just craft foam that I made some indentation in it and again quite random just adding some interest to the back and you don't have to I will show you a uh, at the end all kind of options and variation and I have done other bags without adding anything to the book pages I'm 
Yeah. Good enough. Okay. So I've got this. And I'm going to use... Wait a minute. Just taking some baby wipe because I've managed to <laughs> smear paint all over. Of course. Okay. This to the side. My focal point is going to be from a paper napkin. And I'm just going to take one part of it. Okay. So that's going to be my focal point. I'm going to glue this. My uh, white glue has a little bit of water inside, especially that I like to work with paper napkins and if you don't add a little bit of water, the white glue will, well, drag and tear your paper napkin. Now, I don't have measurements I'm because if white glue comes in all kinds of consistencies, and I just add water as I see fit until I like the consistency of the glue. Okay, putting it here. And I'm just going to go over and work from the inside towards the outside. Use the flat of the brush again. It needs to slide, otherwise it will tear and don't skimp on the glue. It will take time to dry, but then it won't tear. I love the, that <laughs> paper napkins are translucent. It's, I really like that aspect of them. That's why I'm using it. Uh, of course, you don't have to put paper napkin. It could be anything. It could be a postcard. It could be any uh, embellishments that you want. Now, everything is glued down, but what I'm doing is I'm going back and I'm just going over the edges of the paper napkin. I don't want it straight. It's almost translucent it's almost invisible on the background that's one of the perks of white background in paper napkins <clears throat> but still I want to play with the edge and I don't want it to be straight again it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it Okay, I've got it. Now it needs to be dry before I continue. Another uh, idea is for the handles. If you don't like them, you can take anything like jute or uh, any satin ribbon and you can go around it and add, just cover it if you like, like so. Of course, it uh, with glue something like that up to you another uh, thing to do so i'm going to uh, let this dry and then i'll be back okay i'm back and now i want to go over the edges with some a uh, brown acrylic paint i'm taking again a uh, the makeup sponge and i'm putting a really small amount of acrylic paint on it and I'm just going over the edges very gently. Now, again, you can do only the front if you want, or you can go all over the edges, all around your bag and do this. Now, I, if you are not using acrylic paint and you want to use an ink pad with the sponge, then I recommend using permanent ink uh, 
and not something like distress ink. You don't want something where to touch it and smear it. So as you can see, just going around the edge, kind of like we are framing a page in an art journal or on a canvas on the edges. Last thing I want to do, I'm use, going to use this 3D paint or tulip or <laughs> a, once it was fabric paint. Uh, all kinds of uh, names for this stuff uh, this is a gold glitter and I'm just going to go over the edges of the paper napkin if it will get out <laughs> okay here we go where something is coming out let's take a pin Just one more detail to decorate the paper bag. You don't have to, of course. <laughs> I'm just playing. After that, I'm going to show you other options. I've made other paper bags and had really great fun making them okay I'm just going to do uh, the rest of this off camera because it's taking time. So I'm moving it aside and let's bring the other bags. Okay, so here is another example. As you can see, just a paper napkin. I've done again the edges with the 3D paint and added a little bit of dots inside just so it will go with the rest and here as you can see i left the the pages as is i didn't stencil i didn't stamp it just like this everything is covered now the, uh, another thing i've done is i've put two uh, magnets here just so it will be more like a closer of a purse uh, or a handbag and that's it that's one of the options <clears throat> here we go another one this one was made with maps just cut some maps put a paper napkin here and again went over the edges with the 3d paint this one a uh, blue glitter that's it i haven't done anything else and of course i went over the edges with uh, some acrylic blue paint and i've put here some again magnet for closure here we go another one <clears throat> okay so this is painty papers and I've shown you how to do them it's the simplest there is you just put some paint on the page in one side and you drag it with some plastic card and have fun with it so that's it and afterwards I added to those pages some uh, lines with metallic markers so that's the detail you can see here so i had lots of leftovers from the painty papers i just cut them into rectangles glued them all over as you can see i had more leftovers so i punched circles and glued them in several places and this is just a paper napkin again because it had 
white background when you are gluing it it just turns translucent so that's a great thing with paper napkins so this this is another a version of upcycling the uh, paper bags and here there is a magnet one last uh, one last is this one here this is the i think the first one i've done and that's before i learned it takes a lot of time when you just rip the pages to small pieces it takes a lot of time and really you really don't need it only if you really uh, want this effect then go for it but otherwise you can do whole pages instead of this and once again this is just a paper napkin with white background so it really goes well on top of uh, something like that went over the edges and well here i've put a magnet and added a tassel i don't know why i just wanted to <laughs> and added this glass bead that i had so as you can see all kinds of options that you can go and be wild uh, and do this uh, upcycling of paper bags so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now